And now I give the last word to Charlotte Pietrigunitska from SIDA. Thank you very much, Sharon. Thank you very much, partners, uh, for, for making all this happen today. I must say, I'm, I'm, I'm very inspired. I have had the opportunity and the privilege to stay for a whole session today and listen, which is not often the case. And uh, uh, today we have celebrated that there is a post-MDG report with our minister uh, on the panel. And we have had this fantastic uh, time together. And one of the things that I want to pick up on is that no aid can't do it all, doesn't even want to do it all. But there are very important processes to kind of tap in and, and really uh, kind of increase the energy in, and that's the combination of what we've done here this afternoon and what you, the ministers, has talked about on the new opportunities that are out there. Uh, S Sweden, through Gunilla on the panel uh, for the post-MDG, took an initiative to run a dialogue with the Swedish civil society, young people in Sweden, as well as the business sector in Sweden. And one of the things that we will really do now is to leverage, we can't do that, but we will inspire the business sector to leverage, leverage some Swedish leadership into the issues that we have discussed here today. Which means that Swedish CEOs have actually committed to, in a year's time from now, demonstrate in practice what it means to build sustainable business models, build sustainability into their business models, and to demonstrate how they will decrease their negative impact on environment. And if we can, as an aid uh, colleagues here, try to really influence the different sectors in society, we can make use of a lot of the knowledge that we have already, but that we need so much from research. And communication and make it facts and research easier between the different sectors is an important role. And I am very inspired that we can do this together. So thank you very much. Mm -hmm.